Divide and conquer has been one of the primary tactics Imperial powers have used to maintain and expand their power down through history. Divide and conquer is a strategy where one power or a group of powers creates divisions in a target group so as to weaken that group, making them easier to conquer or rule. The British Empire employed divide and conquer, also known as divide and rule, extensively in British-controlled India. A notable example of how Britain used divide and conquer in India was when British officials were reorganising the Indian Army after the rebellion or mutiny of 1857. The rebellion began in the summer of 1857 when Indian troops in Meerut turned on British officials and opened fire on them. Various factors sparked this uprising, but broadly speaking, these troops felt that British officials had insulted their culture and unjustly punished their comrades. This rebellion in Meerut quickly spread to other parts of India and morphed into a larger movement against British rule. In the wake of the rebellion, Britain completely reorganised their control over India. The British Crown took direct control over India, as previously India had been controlled on behalf of the establishment by the British East India Company. The Indian Army was also reorganised, as Britain wanted to avoid any further mutinies in the ranks. At the time, the Indian Army was made up of three branches, the Bengal, Madras and Bombay Armies, which later formally merged in 1895 into the British Indian Army. In their reorganisation of the army after the rebellion had been suppressed, British officials implemented the tactic of divide and rule in an attempt to prevent any further mutinies. Firstly, they increased the number of European troops that made up the army, which decreased the level of Indian unity found in the older Indian army. Furthermore, British officials worked to emphasise the differences in the Indian army in an attempt to prevent a unification of Indians against British rule along the lines of race, nationality, religion or caste. As Lord Ellenborough, a British politician who served as Governor-General of British India from 1842 to 1844, stated, The fewer elements of combination there are in the native army, the better and therefore the more nationalities and castes and religions, the more secure we shall be. Discipline alone should bind the army. As another British official, Lord Elphinstone, wrote, Divida et impera was the old Roman motto, and it should be ours. In 1861, unit commanders in the Indian Army were ordered to send an annual report on the religious and caste composition of each regiment to Calcutta. Furthermore, British officials introduced laws over the following years to keep the army divided along caste and religious lines, which led to the Indian army being largely obedient to the British rulers up until India gained independence in the late 1940s. The British Empire also used Indian people as a weapon to divide and conquer other nations. Britain facilitated mass migration of Indian people into other colonial possessions or colonial targets, including in Africa and Burma. This movement of Indian people into other countries helped to create divisions in the target population and it allowed Britain to use these Indian people as scapegoats for any problems in the area. British officials encouraged native people to direct their anger against these Indian immigrants, which helped to stop the native people focusing on British colonial power as the problem. Yet, even after India gained independence in 1947, 
Britain's last act was to employ the tactic of division once again, both territorially and between Hindus and Muslims. British India was split into two independent countries, India and Pakistan, with East Pakistan becoming Bangladesh in 1971 after a bloody civil war. And the border line that was drawn in the 1940s has created bloodshed and tensions ever since, notably over Kashmir.